So for a while, I've liked using uh, Creative uh, Auto G2 sound cards, and I use KX Project Drivers, which so far I, I don't know of anything that gives you uh, the flexibility to modify uh, the DSP flowchart of your sound card. So PCI slots are dying out on motherboards, and that's basically because PCIe is superior. But um, you don't want to have to get a lousy motherboard just because uh, your motherboard would have a PCI slot. Turns out that the last motherboard I got in 2018 did in fact have two PCI slots, and I got that board for a Ryzen 1000 series, and then I found out that it had certain bugs, so I got the 2000 series Ryzen, and then today I'm using a 5000 series Ryzen, and the board's still very good, uh, Asus board. So generally these converters uh, work fine. The only problem is, is they're hard to mount inside your case. And um, this particular one, the first one I was looking for has like a little cable and then you can like maybe drill some holes and uh, put it next to the card. So the problem is uh, if you have a full size um, ATX uh, motherboard, there generally isn't anything, any other places beyond the motherboard that you can use. So um, I kind of ruled out this one, although this is the one that I was originally thinking of using. So this is the uh, photo for the one that I did order, and what this allows you to do is uh, put it directly on top in an existing card slot. The problem then is the card is going to be higher uh, in the card slot than um, you'd want, and a lot of these show uh, people using uh, certain ports on video cards and just sort of ignoring the rest of the video card, and uh, that would work uh, for cards basically that the thing you want is in the lower part of the card. So in this video, uh, what they've done is they've removed the uh, plate on the video card that was used to be there. And um, the idea is that the connector card would lock down, but the upper card uh, isn't necessarily really locked down. And you could get around that by somehow tying the two cards together with cables or something. And then that would be a, a locking solution. So this is the really cheap um, bridge card I got off Amazon for like, uh, you know, $18. And um, I'm expecting it would work because it's got that, that proper, um, you know, chip that's designed for that. And there's not a lot going on here other than that. And I, I inspected this card and what I found out was there's a little bit of sticky stuff um, up here at the top. And also there's a little bit of an overshoot of the solder looking for bridging. I didn't see anything really wrong with the solder. Uh, but there's like a little bit of uh, extra little uh, uh, solder stuff that's kind of stuck to this here. So I tried to get rid of um, these uh, little solder messes up here because you don't want uh, free uh, you know, solder going into things, bridging uh, traces, uh, destroying components, making things erroneous. So um, there's a little bit of sticky stuff again right in here. There's like a little bit of sticky stuff that I try to use rubbing alcohol, but I mean, after that, I'm, I'm not really, I'm into more hardcore ways to get rid of it. And um, I'm more into the card working than to destroy the, uh, the layers of the PCB by messing with them. So um, also right here, this is the thing that's connecting it, um, the bottom of the card to the top of the card. And what I've seen before is people would take, you know, parts of the card off and then, or sorry, parts of the card that go here and then these two would be coincident. So we're gonna find out how these two fit together. But I think what's gonna happen is the cards are nearly coincident. And what's gonna make more sense in this case, because I don't trust this, this is your locking mechanism to lock this card down. This neck just isn't, really strong enough I don't think well it's it's a pretty it's a pretty narrow thing it's a pretty narrow argument which of the two you're going to use and um, I'm almost more suitable to get rid of this one if one of them's got to go I think this is the one that should go so this is another Auto G2 card I had and um, what happened with this one is it's making all these crackling noises that you couldn't get rid of and I noticed there's a lot of dust that was in this region. I think what happened is it's beside a GPU and it was blowing hot air on these caps and it dried out some of the caps. So um, I tried to do some testing. You can only do, you know, it's hard to test caps and circuit. I was trying to charge them up and discharge them. I found some that weren't discharging and I, I replaced them from some components from another board. And uh, this card did actually start working. So this card does work, but it has some kind of bad solder joints that I did on it. So I've always been like not so crazy about it, but I think I'm going to, put it in for this test because I don't see myself using this card in the computer, although technically it is a working card. So these are, this is the two cards together and the way that I put it in. You can notice that um, this card's uh, slot here is even kind of like either coincident or in front of the other one. So this one's definitely going, right? I think I trust this one more. But what it means is that between, let's see, here and here, 
this distance, this card is now up that distance. So what's going to happen is that there's a hole in the computer where all these things are visible and it's going to go up about that far. So it means that, um, let's see here, I got your digital out and that's going to be line out. Yeah, so, so here's some of the other line outs here, but you might not be able to use some of these things, which is going to be problematic. Actually, I had it backwards. I was hoping that this was that, but it's actually the other way around. So. Um, yeah, so you might have to, uh, I mean, it'll work. I suspect it'll work, but uh, you might have to modify uh, your case. You might have to cut the hole in the case physically up to be able to uh, use those. Okay, so you can see what's happened here is that the card is quite a bit up from the slot, right? So um, what I think I would do is um, right in here, I would drill a hole and have like a, a bracket that goes here and here, the whole other hole. The other hole in it. Then what you can do is you can draw a bolt and a nut and a bolt and a nut and you put this in first and you install that here and then that would make this be in position. Now um, the trouble is <clears throat> you can see that a lot of these um, or let's see uh, how many of them at least three of those sound outputs there sound jacks are above the hole right so what I was thinking you could do is right in here, sorry, right in there, um, you could drill some holes big enough for the jack to go directly into those things. Or, you know, when you're getting a case, you can get a new case and you can try to deal with a case that's gonna have this geometry, you know, it's sticking up uh, higher than the, uh, you know, the uh, the card slot, I mean, this is gonna be problematic. Another thing is, um, you see this heat sink on that video card when I'm testing the slot, it seems to be almost hitting the, the next card. So I'm just gonna put that in there because I don't want any sad story. You know, any type of contact between traces in the computer can potentially destroy something. So uh, I got the, um, the anticipated results, which is the PCIe to PCI bridge, as well as the Auto G2 are being recognized by the system. Um, as well, that uh, that bridge chip is the same chip. I didn't know, uh, but it is the same chip that's in my current motherboard my, for Ryzen. So um, it, you would expect about the same uh, performance as I'm getting currently. So this is the Linux uh, sound setup, and you can see the devices there. And it turns out this particular system um, had a... Um, and Sonic card, which wasn't one of these uh, live or Autogy cards, but uh, is one of these early cards that kind of had um, some of the earlier sound cards had a built-in amplifier, so you just had to put you know um, little speakers, and then you'd get pretty loud sound without anything else involved. And it, it is that kind of card, but uh, that is not an Autogy card. So uh, what I was doing today was I was putting this computer in where my second computer is, because it has a wire going between them, so I can hear my uh, second computer on uh, the, the stereo here. So um, what I did was uh, I put it here so I can put the wire into that. And um, I had some complications. I'll go over the complications later, but basically, I think it's basically a working solution. Um, and here I am playing back a, a video. Well, this mode of evolution only dominates until the species discovers a way to change itself faster and more successfully than by naturally occurring genetic mutations. We have reached this point. Indeed, we reached this point. Well, I was looking at my other computer and I've noticed that um, what happened was uh, this is digital out. And I thought that was um, uh, line out front, you know, uh, front two speakers. That's actually line in and that's microphone. So that means that um, these three were available. That one's barely available. So as long as you don't want the digital out or you can make bore a hole for the digital out, um, you can actually use this card. It, it would be able to use a line in the microphone. So these three are not really available when you do this. But um, these are the three outputs. That's the front, uh, the front speakers. That's the uh, the rear speakers, and that's your subwoofer and center. That one. So that's the way the cards uh, set up. Using different drivers, you can make them do other things that you want them to. So it's like I say, mostly um, I have to make a, a clip, drill a hole in the case, make a clip. Uh, the bolt here, a bolt on the side, and um, you might have to drill a hole through here if you want that one or all three of them. If you get like a, you know start a starter hole, make it bigger uh, for each of these, so you can put um, you know a, hopefully a fairly small jack through and, and hit all those. So it is technically possible. It did a nice job. I'm impressed. So when I was testing it, I didn't know that um, I had the the front speakers uh, out kind of available. 
it was kind of hard to reach, but you could do it. So I was testing the other ones, and I got some sort of weird um, results that was really garbled, and I thought, oh, well, it's not actually working. But um, I guess what's important is when I hooked in that, that front one, it did work, and maybe this card wasn't as functional as I thought it was. But uh, at any rate, uh, you, you see the, the proof in this video that it was uh, working pretty well, so I, I suspect it's okay.